Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's see the duelist. We're here with a reason to win. So let's get into it, guys. Alexis tended to her brother in the infirmary. A mysterious voice suddenly filled her head, saying that she could save her brother under one condition. She beat him in a duel. The mysterious voice is a he. It was the voice of Titan. Look, we lost to the Shadow Realm. He returned as one of the Shadow Riders. All right, so we duel, and if I win, you restore my brother's memories. That's the deal? You're in it, at least. But if I win, I did something, too. The, your, your spirit key and your soul to take back with me to the Shadow Realm. When you and I first met up, I was but a charlatan of the shadows. However, since being taken in by them, I am now the real deal. An authentic Shadow Rider. Let us begin. All right, Alexis is dead. Uh... All right, Alexis, don't let me down. I am familiar with her deck, though. So I kind of know what strategy she uses. She has a few useful cards, but not many. All right. Good defense. This is pretty worthless. So you have 2,300? That's not horrible. All right, let's get a polymerization. First strategy is basically uh, Cyber Ballerina. You want to try to make this down, this chain. So we'll just go and set our magic hole golem for the time being. And, uh, wait, out. If we can just get Blade Stater, I can make that thing. And that's actually a pretty decent fusion for the time. That thing, neither one of those are very scary. I don't give a fuck about it. What's pandemonium? What? Ooh, okay then, that happened. Um, whoops. Let's see, another player's pay life points to the same base for archery monsters. Each time a player's archery monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, except by battle, the player can add one archery. Okay, so. Oh, I didn't use this. So this will kill Pandemonium. And it's a 2300 beater. So I hope it's this arch, this thing. This thing needs 500 white point. Okay, we'll see. You already did this. effect. and destroy the white. What? Oh. Oh, wait. During each. Until the, oh, so this is only until the end of the turn. Now we'll go back to 900. Okay, so that's not really a threat. Go. Okay. You can gain a thousand attack, I don't care. Yeah, a thousand attack ain't gonna help you. Alright, MST. Interesting. Alright, that thing's gonna gain a thousand. Um, should we? I don't know. We already have Cyber 2-2. Two -two. Right, so this thing can attack directly because everything in their field is a higher attack than her. We can get for a thousand points of damage. Now kill this thing. Alright, pretty easy so far, honestly. I was expecting more of a challenge. Maybe I just got lucky. Beastly, oh, hello. That's that 20, oh, 2100, whatever. Fiend's Mirror. Ooh, Pot of Greed. Hell yeah. Hmm. Hmm, that's pretty nice, actually. Gotta hit other monsters other than the monks, though. That's actually really good. I remember I had this card as a kid, and I thought it was the most OP thing ever. <laughs> I mean, rare gold armor, in a sense, can be uh, used right in this game. But you put it on something like a marshmallow. Hmm, what to do here? I could just swing. Yeah, that was swing. I mean, that mirror is nothing special. You die. It's been pretty easy. Pretty easy. Oh, I had to start right. Uh. 
Eh. I probably don't need Fusion D. Mmm, that's gonna be MST. I don't trust it. He hasn't used the other face down yet, so I'm a little more lenient about it. Okay, let's MST that. It was... Oh, that's actually bad. Good thing we got rid of that. This Cyber Prima is putting in the work. MVP, Cyber Prima. Let's wrap this one up. That's wild well, cyber. Cyber Prima. You know, that's wild well, cyber will need 500 attacks. Game. No, not again. Atticus. Let's see. Eddie, welcome back. Thanks, Let's, for everything. Look at this dorky smile he's got right there. Wait, there's so many unanswered questions. Like, how did you end up... How you ever ended up in the Shadow Realm? Titan said you did it for the power. Believe me, Wexy, I never chose to go. One day a few of us were told to meet the abandoned dorm, and then it happened. There was supposed to be a dual test in the basement, but instead we found hundreds of those little shadow fiends. I couldn't escape. I was brought to the Shadow Realm. They brainwashed me for months until I became this thing called Night Shroud. By who? Who was it that brainwashed you? I never did figure that out. However, the person who told me to take the dual test was Professor Banner. Our Professor Banner? He's in on it? Jane just like showed up out of nowhere. Alright guys, so that will do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe down below for more content. Twitter, Facebook links are in the description below as always. Join me next time for Am Nails Endgame. Bye bye guys.